Hi, this is Valerie Burton on Twitter. I'm Miss B is online. And this presentation is going to talk about ways to show off your work online and create ePortfolios using Weebly. It was done for the K-12 Online 2012 Conference. Learn, Share, and Remix is this year's theme. So, why ePortfolios? ePortfolios allow you to create and maintain a living resume and you can use it to showcase and store examples of achievements, accomplishments, work that you do, and you can create videos and share them with um, recruiters, friends, family. Why Weebly? It's free and easy and it allows you to house lots of different resources. You just go to Weebly.com, put in your name, put in your email address, and put in your password. For those of you who are teachers creating sites for younger kids, you can use the Gmail Plus method, which means you put in your Gmail account, and then after your Gmail name, you put in Plus, and you can put the students in. All correspondence will come to you, but they will have their own individual Gmail account, faux Gmail account, to use to log in. You name your site, it gives you the option of indicating the, the type of site and the category. Once you select your categories and all, the next screen that comes up tells you to choose your website domain. So choose the first option because it's a free option. And voila, just like that, click, 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 your work site's done. Now what you need to do is you need to personalize it. Weebly's behind the scenes dashboard is organized by tabs, elements. It allows you to add the elements you'd like on each page, text, pictures, HTML code box so that you can embed a widget. Design allows you to choose the design and the theme, what you want it to look like. Pages. That tab allows you to add a variety of website pages or blog pages. Editors. If you need more than one person to work on the site, you can add editors. And settings. Setting allows you to change the site title, determine whether or not the title is seen on your page, determine how you want the navigation pages to look. So the, da the dashboard's really easy to use, um, and that's one of the great things about Weebly. Right. So these are some of the different elements you can choose from. A photo gallery, gallery slideshow, feed reader, Google Map. Weebly allows you to have a lot of discretion about how you want your site to look. They've got hundreds of themes that you can choose from. Here's some of them. Um, the categories, business, colorful, dark colors, education, general purpose, light colors, personal. So choose the one that basically reflects your intentions and your personality. Once you do that, you can either have the social media icons on. You can put a phone number on there for them to click. It even allows you to change the fonts okay the color the size so you can really personalize it to your likes and wants add as many pages or blog pages as necessary um, whatever your needs are some of the main categories to use for students my education my career my goals and on those pages, you can have subpages where you've got test scores, transcripts, college choices and majors. Um, for my career, you can have some research information that you've done, your resume. What you put on the site is up to you. Some of the pages that you can include, you can have a learning log, your coursework, digital stories. You can have a, a resume that lists your community service, your jobs. You can also have links to different websites. You can have photos. It's up to you how you cater your site. So here's an example of a template I gave to my kids for the English 1 class. They had a main page home 
and in several sub-pages, short stories, fictions, poetry, drama, epic. They had a main page, Who I Am, and several sub-pages, An Average Day, Things I Like, and so on. Here's what that this looks like. This is Sarah Seitz. Um, she's one of my freshman English students from last year. And on the cover, she's got an autobiographical wordle, um, Hello Kitty, a, f a favorite of hers. And the some of the units we had in the class, short stories. On that page, she's got faux Twitter conversation, faux Twitter profile. She's analyzed several different stories. She's got a photo movie about one of the stories. And here's a wordle from the story on nonfiction. Weebly allows you to embed videos. So uh, we have here an analysis she did of uh, a TED Talk. She's got two Vokies for vocabulary words. On her poetry page, she's got poetry that she's written. Pages on your ePortfolio can be used to highlight extracurricular activities or church activities, awards, certificates, anything you think that might help out a recruiter and showing him that you're well-rounded. So this is an example of a page done by a student of um, mine. He made podcasts for New Orleans Museum of Art. So he's got his particular header and it says look at my work for the New Orleans Museum of Art. We've got some pictures of the process. He's got a couple of little blurbs about what he did in the process. Weebly allows you to put in widgets and this is an example of a widget where it's the actual recording of some of the material he did for the museum. We've got a picture of the actual plate on the exhibit and it gives you a telephone number to call. So use Weebly to help recruiters see that you're well-rounded, you've got some um, multifaceted, and you've got some wonderful things to highlight. This is Santana. He's one of my ninth grade students, and he made an e-portfolio for me last year in English 1. So how did you feel about making the e-portfolio for my class? It was fun. It was wonderful because... I learned how to use websites without being on Facebook, Twitter. I learned how to use extra stuff to deal with. Did you have any opportunities to interact with any students from around the country? Yes. I met a guy, well not a student, a guy from New York. He liked my page. Okay, and didn't he mention you in a tweet or he gave you a shout out or something? Yeah, he shouted me out on Twitter and all the kids were jealous. Oh, all the kids in my class were jealous? Yes. Okay. I liked your site because it's unique and it shows your personality. Um, did you take a lot of time in planning the material that you put on it? Yeah, because I wanted mine to be, oh yeah, because I wanted mine to be different. I put my own pictures and everything on them. They never you have on yours, you have a PowerPoint, you have um, a couple of photo movies, um, you've got some poetry, you've got some essays. There are many ways that you can use Weebly in the classroom. You can use it for a classroom website, for classroom news. You can also use it for student participation. It's a way for you to be able to publish their information online. They can use it for student portfolios, exam review, peer editing. You can have vocabulary lists or share notes. You can also use it for community outreach. You can have it as a resource for a school tour. You can have a compilation of recipes for a recipe book. You can have community frequently asked questions or you can merely share achievements of the students in your class. You can also use it to house resources and have virtual field trips, have online textbooks or online presentations. Use it as a glossary.
We will afford you the opportunity to do a variety of different things online for your classroom. Here is my personal site developed to share resources and um, information with my PLN. I've got several pages that are linked up on it, linked up to it rather, on this first page. I've got a video, uh, a little Wordle picture. Um, Weebly allows me to put a mini resume online. I've got information about some of the presentations that I've done and the format I used for this is not a regular page. This format is a blog page and I use that because it gives me individual um, different posts that I liked better than the setup on the regular web page. So Weebly can allow you to link outside links as well as a tab on your site. Um, you can embed a variety of items. So here's another Weebly I have done for um, as a as a guide for my English kids so that they can see what their site should look like. So this is my sample site. And on there, I generally put a lot of different items so that they can see some of the choices that they have. Um, I've got videos, pictures, podcasts, Weebly just gives you an opportunity to really showcase a variety of different things. There are many reasons why I love Weebly and use it often. The first, Weebly's free. The free account allows you to have freedom in the creation of your site so that you can put the elements on it that are of in interest to you. Weebly's easy. The pages are set up so that all you have to do is drag and drop elements onto the page. Weebly supports many media types. It's easy for you to put the pictures and videos and widgets on, the, on your Weebly site. Just to prove a point, I'm going to quickly create a site. So I put my name, email address password. I need to prove that I am a human. Hopefully I am. Now I need to name my site. and I'll call this test site 4K12. I can make it either personal, business. If it's business they're going to ask what type of business I'm in group organization, same thing, they want to know a type, education, they have a category that you pick, wedding, portfolio, or other. I'm going to choose portfolio just because continue it allows you to, I'm sorry, spend money creating and registering your own domain. That's not what we want to do right now. So we're going to stick to the subdomain, which is the first one, and it's free. Be sure to point that out if you're doing this with kids. Okay, the site, uh, all right, so it's telling me that the name I chose is not available. Choose another one. So I did. My site's created just that quickly. I always like to personalize it first. So I'm going to get rid of the picture that's there now and I'm going to add an image. They have stock images. I can either add one from my computer or I can use one of theirs. And I'm going to look for shoes. I can either choose a professional picture, which is something I have to pay for, or I can choose one of their free photos. 
I'm going to choose this one. I can then size it and put it to the way I want. Click OK if I'm good with that. Now when I save it, I can save it as the default header, which means it'll be on all my pages. I can save it only for this page or selected pages. I'm going to save it only for this page. Alright, so my elements, I've decided to drag and drop down a box, title and text. So title's going to give me bold print, test, if I could spell, sorry. And I put in my message, see how easy this was. So I've got one page done already on my site. I'm going to add another page, add page. I'm going to call this page 2. I can add a blog. And once I'm done with that, I save it. So I've saved my two pages and I got a message that says nice job. Click publish when you want to publish or update your site. So the only way your site becomes live is when you actually publish it. So here are the pages I have. You can't really see what the site looks like until you click publish and that allows you to make it live and you can see what it's going to look like to the public. So just now I've decided that I'm going to add two pictures. I added multiple columns, pull down two picture boxes to add a picture. Just click upload from computer. So I've just quickly uploaded two pictures side by side in this column. I can adjust the size of the column if I'd like. Let me add. So pages are added just that quickly. And to stagger them, all you do is pull them over so that they're staggered. These will be subpages for this one. Click Publish. The first time you click Publish, it's going to confirm whether or not you want the subdomain or you want to register a new domain. So again, I still want the subdomain. I click Continue. I have the option right now to share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter. Again, it's offering me the opportunity to go ahead and make this my domain. So again, remind the kids not to click it they'll know when they make a mistake because it pops up and asks them for fifty dollars. So here's my site and here are my sub pages. So this is what it looks like live. Here's the the, uh, the post I did. Test. See how easy this was. I dropped in two pictures. Now I only added that um, picture with the shoes on it to the home page so everything else is going to look like the default setting. Difference between the home page and the blog page I've got information on the sidebar here for categories and archives for the blog. Okay so remember I added one page and I added a couple of uh, blog pages. So in a little under five minutes, I had an opportunity to create a site. See how easy that was?